Hello Cheney UMC and friends. Welcome to this week's Lectio Divina reading. My name is Stan Kerr. Uh, we find ourselves on a, another gorgeous afternoon out in eastern Washington. Today's Lectio Divina reading will be from 1 John 1 verses 5 through 8. Listen for God's word today. Today's welcoming words come to us from Thelma Hall. Pray as you can, not as you can't. Thank you, Thelma. Before we listen prayerfully to God's word, I invite you to take a few moments to get comfortable, to be prepared to be in the presence of the one who knows you, sees you, and loves you. Take a few moments to get comfortable. Maybe take your shoes off. Put on a fan to move the air lightly if you're in a warm room. The idea is to get comfortable and be able to be ready to have a great conversation with God. Close your eyes as well for a moment and inhale slowly through your nose for a two count. And exhale out your mouth for a three count. We are entering a time of stillness and quietness and contemplation and prayer with God. It's a time that will open you to God's presence in your life. As the scripture is read, allow a word or phrase or image or feeling to touch you, to be open to you. Allow that word or phrase or feeling or image to touch the deepest areas of your heart. This is a time of prayer in conversation between just you and God. Today's scripture, 1 John chapter 1, verses 5 through 10, will be read three times. After each reading, use the silence that follows to reflect on that phrase or word or image or feeling and consider it as a spiritual gift from God that he wants you to use. Asking God how to use this spiritual gift is part of today's prayer. As we begin, ask God to bring his word to life in you and for you through the power of the Holy Spirit. If nothing speaks to you or you're uncertain of what you're doing, pray boldly and without hesitation to God with unbelievable faith. God will answer you. Trust that God understands you. There will be a period of silence following each reading to listen with the ears of your heart. If your mind wanders, slowly bring it back to your listening to the scripture as we receive this gift of scripture from God. Let us pray. Holy One, our rock, May the grace of Christ, our Savior, and the Father's boundless love with the Holy Spirit's favor rest upon us from above. Thus may we abide in union with each other and the Lord and possess in sweet communion joys which earth cannot afford. Listen to God's word. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do, what is tr and, and do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another 
and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. As we listen to a second reading, allow that word or phrase or that feeling or that image that caught your attention and use it to continue to stir your thoughts or feelings to a deeper level of pondering. In your mind's eye, consider what you see when you shine that, a light on that word or, or phrase or image or feeling. Go slowly, allow God time to say all he wants to say to you today. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship him, with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is in us not. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Talk honestly with God about whatever you're feeling now. Listen for his invitations to you. How are you being called to respond to God's word? What do you need from God right now? This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is in light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, 
cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Rest now in the presence of the one who knows you, sees you, and loves you. Use the language of silence for this time of conversation between you and God. Spend a few moments in God's presence, resting quietly as you feel the closeness with him. Contemplation, or simply just being, is encouraged. The rest of the day can wait as you experience the deepening of this union with God through the blessing of his Holy Scripture. Let us pray. Thank you, Holy One, our rock, for being there for us and allowing us to cry out to you in our times of need. It is amazing to us that the Lord of the universe would take time to listen to us and to care about what we say. God, there are things happening around us right now that we do not understand. Some of these things make us feel weak, helpless, afraid. Even in the midst of this, we know that you are the Lord. We know that the situation is in your hand and we trust you. We beseech you for strength and for wisdom that we would be able to endure this situation and be able to handle it in a way that would bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name, amen.